Hello, and thank you for joining me today with our Mango Voice tutorial. My name is Tyler, and today we are going to be talking about the SMS notification object inside of our switchboard. So the very first thing you're going to have to do is log into our website. Once you're logged in, you will go to the switchboard tab right here on the left-hand side of the screen. Once you've clicked on that tab, you're going to go ahead and click on the switchboard that you're going to be playing in. We're going to click in switchboard 1000 today. Now, once you're in here, you're going to want to identify the SMS notification button towards the top of the screen. Once you find it, you'll click on it to open it up. And then we're just going to move it over here to the side so we can get a clear view of it. Now, with the SMS notification, you have several message types you can select. The first three are if you're going to be texting someone in your office. And custom, while it can be someone in your office, is usually for a caller or patient who happens to be calling you. Now, right here, we have the missed call. This one here is going to send a text message indicating that there was a missed call from the caller ID. We'll give the caller ID as well as the caller's phone number. You can also select one for an incoming call, which will give virtually the same information, but it'll state the call is incoming. And then a voicemail option as well. And this will give the exact same information, but it'll say that they went to voicemail. Now I do want to point out that this doesn't actually mean a voicemail was left, but that they were sent to the voicemail box. They could have easily just disconnected once they heard your voicemail greeting. If you select any three of these options, you'll definitely want to put an SMS recipient number in here. So we're going to go ahead and type in that phone number. Now that that number is in there, we're going to connect this after the phones would ring in your office. So we'll make sure that those lines are connected. And then because there's not quite enough space, we're going to minimize it by clicking on this arrow. Now, every time a call is missed, it's going to pass through this SMS notification and go through into the voicemail. Now it goes through that really quick and your callers won't even notice that they're hitting another object. It's just going to run through it real quick, send that text message to the number entered, and then they're going to leave a voicemail. Now another option is we can open that back up and we'll disconnect it. Is we can select custom. This will let you type in a message right here. And you can use that message to send it to whomever you'd like to, or you can remove the number and you can automatically reply to the caller. So if someone calls you and you're unable to answer the call, you can tell them, hello, we are sorry, we missed your call. We will call you back as soon as possible. Now, if you do have our Mango Plus, they can reply to this text message and you'll be able to view that text. However, if you do not have Mango Plus on your account, if they do reply to this, you will not be able to see that text message in any way, shape, or form. So if you do have Mango Plus, you can add that here. Please text this number back to speak to our staff. And then they can text that number right away. Now, once you have that message in there, we're going to go ahead and minimize this again to save some space. And then we're going to connect it right here, just like we had previously. And that is going to automatically reply to any caller who makes it into your voicemail. Now, a custom message can only have 160 characters. But other than that, you are free to type in whatever message you would like. And that's all there is to our SMS notification. Thank you for joining me today with our Mango Voice tutorial. And if this tutorial helped you today, I would appreciate it if you take a moment to like this video. And if you're interested in more tutorials, consider subscribing to our channel as we are going to be uploading more videos to help you with your Mango system.